We must cleave through. Let's move. Time to stop holding back. This is gonna hurt. Rebellion storm. Sorry, that's it for you. <laughs> Every little improvement counts. I wonder which Jaeger Corps we're dealing with here. I really hope everyone's all right. Let's just hurry. Let's wrap this up! Please, allow me! Assume your stance! Ah! Bravery's Garden! I couldn't be more pleased with the outcome. Let's wrap this up! I can do this! Let's gather on my blade! We'll cut our own path! The advantage is ours! Here I go! Ha! Ready to go! I can do this! I can do this! No! Got you! Ready to go! Here I go! Sure thing. My turn. I'm up. Sorry, that's it for you.
Enemy sighted. Let's take him out. I can do this. Ah! No. Got you. My turn. Ha! Ready to go. Sorry. That's it for you. this have to be happening they might just be warning shots try and stay calm are we going to make it in time let's get him my turn burn to ash fall Ready to go. Sure thing. Sorry, that's it for you. Great. Right, let's get started. Wait! Yeah. Sure thing. Try this. Fire! Let's move. Ready to go. Sorry, that's it for you. <laughs> Every little improvement counts. Your Highness, please hurry back inside the mansion and hide. Whatever may come to pass, we won't allow them to touch you. But, but... There you are. We are the Northern Jaegers, and we've entered a contract with the Kreutzen province. By the order of its lord, Duke Alberea, we are here to take you into protective custody, your highness. No! Auntie Lucia? Out of the way, woman. I ask you to leave this village at once. The Schwarzer family has historical connections with the Imperial family. So as long as I live, you will not lay a hand on her highness. <laughs> you got guts, if nothing else. But I'm not going to repeat myself again. Our orders are that the lives of all other than Princess Alphen are of no consequence. Am I making myself clear? <laughs> but please don't! Don't you dare lay a hand on them! <sighs> Who are you? Uncle Teo! Darling. 
I am the Baron of Ymir, Teo Schwarzer, and I will serve as your opponent. Begin! Not all talk, I see. The art of swordsmanship has been passed down in the Schwarzer family for generations. I couldn't hope to compare to Master Kafai or Lord Arsaid, but I dedicate myself to honing my skills all the same. <laughs> Clearly you're not the type of noble who sits idly by and hires men to fight his battles for him. But I wonder how much use your sword will have if we try this. I'm... I'm sorry, Mr. Baron. You cowards! Have you no shame? All that matters to we Jaegers is fulfilling our contract by any means necessary. Fail to cooperate, and you know what happens next. Huh? It sounded like a machine gun. There's fire everywhere! Damn it. Looks like we're up against some pretty high ranking Jaegers here. Your Highness! a monster. Reen! Reen, don't! Don't lose yourself to anger! That will only lead to a repeat of what happened eight years ago! Uh, Elise... He's still breathing. Your father's alive, Reen! Hang in there. I'll do first aid right away. Lady Schwarzer is just fine, too. She was knocked unconscious, but I don't see any injuries. She's okay. Auntie Lucia, stay with us! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Again. It's all right. It's all right. You came back to me in the end. And that's all that matters. Elise, I'm sorry. I really am. Auntie Lucia! Are you all right, Auntie Lucia? <sighs> Your Highness, you're unharmed. Yes, I'm fine. And it's all because of you and your family. I can't even begin to thank you enough. Your Highness, there's no need to cry. You have the face of an angel. Please don't spoil it with tears. Well, I'm glad she's in no mortal danger. Tova, what about Father? I've given him some first aid, but he was injured pretty severely. 
We should get him to somewhere he can receive proper treatment as soon as possible. No! Dad! Honestly, some people have no patience. What do you want with us this time? I had some concerns about how things were over here, so I decided to come and have a look. Duke Albarea's really gone and done it this time. It's obvious that he really wants to get ahead of Duke Cayenne, but this isn't the most prudent way to do it. <sighs> you act like he's not one of your allies. Now, now. There's no need to take your anger out on me. I can't undo what's already happened, but if it will help, I can at least clear up his mess for you. What? It's time to sleep, my children. Fall into a loving oblivion, cradled in your merciful mother's arms. You will descend the mountain as you are, and you will report to Duke Alborea that you found nothing out of the ordinary. Yes, Mother. We will. So this is what you witches are capable of, is it? It's the least I could do after all the trouble you've been through. Duke Alborea is unlikely to doubt what they tell him, so this village shouldn't be targeted again for a while. Although, I'm guessing a gesture like this pales in comparison to what I would have to do to earn your forgiveness. Are you? Don't be taken in by her sweet talk! She doesn't do things like this out of kindness! She doesn't? Targets in sight! the whole time? <laughs> now that was silly of you, wasn't it? You should never take your eyes off the princess you're meant to be protecting. As far as knights go, I'm afraid you failed spectacularly in nearly every regard. <laughs> Please, let me go! Targets apprehended successfully. Targets identified as Objective 1 and Objective 2. Mission complete. Who are you? And what do you want? And why does that thing you're on look just like Eric Getlum? It really does. 
I take it you being with her means you're an enforcer or something? Uh, I don't comprehend your question. Hmm. She's not with Ouroboros, actually. She's a behind-the-scenes helper of sorts who was donated to the Noble Alliance by an anonymous benefactor. Think of her as yet another ally of the Alliances, much like ourselves, Zephyr, and the Imperial Liberation Front. <coughs> Couldn't ask for a more terrifying lineup right there. If you'd like, you can think of me as the Wicked Witch. While she's the Black Rabbit guiding my steps with every adorable hop. Uh, stop messing around! Lady Clotilde, please give the order to retreat. There is no need to remain here any longer. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. Let's be going. be many obstacles waiting for you, but struggle on and overcome them. And I'm sure that, eventually, you'll reach the stage where the Azure Chevalier awaits. Don't let me down, Reen Schwarzer. I won't let it end this way! Hang in there, you two! I'm coming for you! I promise! Has something wondrous caught your eye? Well, if it isn't Duke Cayenne and the Azure Chevalier. Marvelous, isn't it, Rufus? Does it not bring you joy to look down upon our land from such great heights? Especially when one considers our victory in the war that rages on it, all but in our grasp. I'm afraid I have far too much on my mind at the moment to take in such pleasures. But the war is, indeed, raging on, just as you say. And with every day that passes, I worry more for the people of my father's province caught up in it. <laughs> so young, and yet you've already adopted such a delightful perspective. It's clear to me now why your father holds you in such high esteem. Had I a son like you, then I too would take notice of the achievements you've carried in the war thus far. <laughs> you flatter me, sir. Green though I may be, I intend to do all in my power to carry out your will as Supreme Commander of the Noble Alliance. <laughs> Please! I am Supreme Commander, yes, but I wouldn't permit merely anyone to take the position of Chief of Staff. Rest assured, you have earned my favor. We are both equally burdened to guide this conflict to a swift conclusion, all for the good of the common people who suffer from it. If only they understood the lengths we go to for them. And on that note, I assume you've already decided on how we will be proceeding? At present, 60% of the nation is under our control. But on the other hand, the Imperial Army still has a full 50% of its military might remaining. 
The key to our victory lies in deciding how best to divide the remaining armored divisions between the east and west. <laughs> Excellent. Our alliance forces have you, as well as the Panzer Soldats. We have General Aurelia and Brigadier General Wallace, two of the finest soldiers the provincial armies have ever seen. To say nothing of the Azure Diva and the countless other allies lending us their aid. Our victory is only a matter of time. Wouldn't you agree, Crow? <laughs> I wouldn't get too comfortable if I were you. Just so we're on the same page here, Divine Knights aren't omnipotent or anything. Ordine isn't going to be wiping fortresses like Gorelia off the map in an instant the way Crossbell's Ion did. They're not that mind-bogglingly powerful, sorry to say. <laughs> Come now, Crow. You're so modest. Well, no matter. We needn't concern ourselves with Crossbell for the present. Gilead Osborne has fallen. No longer will we be plagued by that detestable man and his foolish ideals. <sighs> However, his loathsome legacy still lives on. This great nation has been filled with undesirable pollutants as a result of him and his followers. Our primary task shall be to wash away the filth and restore Erebonia to its rightful, glorious form. A land ruled by nobles. As you wish. <sighs> ah, I nearly forgot. Regarding the other Chevalier, I'm in the midst of pondering if there is a way to get him to join us. And being that you're such a close friend of his, your assistance may be required at some point. Give it some thought, won't you? Understood. You don't think it'll be quite as easy as our friend the Duke does, do you? I can see it written all over your face. <laughs> Afraid not. The army isn't the only thing we need to worry about. Not with the RMP and the intelligence division at large. Then there's the fact we couldn't catch the Crimson Wings. Whatever other potential threats piling up on the side. Plus, you know, your brother's out there too. It's way too early to be getting cocky. <laughs> My brother is no less a son of the House of Alborea. I'm expecting him to show me the best he can muster. And I don't doubt he'll come at me with everything he's got. But ultimately... Unforeseen circumstances are exactly the reason we carry only the finest insurance. Are they not, dear ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> You're so right. Feels kind of overkill having all of us on the same side. Still, this is how wars are fought. Eh, whatever. So long as we get to have our fun. <laughs> Just don't forget. We're not here for you. We won't be working together forever. <laughs> oh, but the fireworks that will spark from our partnership will be ever so beautiful. <sighs> yeah, I guess I can help. Point taken. I can't see anyone or anything out there having a chance against this group of monsters. <laughs> That's the idea. I leave the unseen side of this War of the Lions reenactment in your capable hands. You're up against the Iron Bloods, the Crimson Wings, and the Horned Lions. With opponents like that, you needn't hold anything back. Go forth and enjoy your fill of battle.
しいとか悔しいとか言葉なくし嘆くすべもないあるはずのぬくもりが突然The scars left on your mirror were fortunately much more shallow than anyone had anticipated. Partly thanks to the fact that the number of assailants was relatively small, there were no fatalities. And the next morning, everyone worked together to clean up the damages and restore the village to its original form. However, my father was heavily wounded, and he had been in a deep sleep ever since. And while we knew his injuries weren't life-threatening, he would still need to be under careful watch for some time. Meanwhile, You're set on leaving now, aren't you? I am. I realize that with Dad unconscious, I should probably stay and protect Ymir in his place. Maybe you could even say that I've got a duty to do so as his son. But I've got something else that I need to do. And to me, that takes priority. If that's your decision, Reen, then I've no intention of stopping you. Like I said when you and Elise first left here to attend Thor's and Saint Astraea, it's a mother's duty to watch over her children and wish them well as they fly the nest. Mom... <laughs> I'll be sure to watch over your father and this village in your absence. Do all that you can to bring Princess Alfin and Elise back safely. Will do. Toval, Selene, please, take care of him. You can count on me. On my honor as a member of the Bracer Guild, I'll do everything in my power to see your request through. I'd tag along even if he said no. It's about time we went and looked for Emma. Thanks, you two. I'll be counting on you. Okay, Mom. We'll see you soon. Take care. And may the Goddess watch over you. Your mom's a strong woman, all right. She really is. And I'll have to do everything I can to bring Elise and Princess Alvin back safely so that I don't let her down. No, I will bring them back. 
Guess we can skip the pep talk if you're that fired up, huh? Make sure to try and repay all that support she's given you the next time you swing by here. Speaking of next time, it's time to go. We're stopping by the valley before leaving, aren't we? Yeah. I want to see how Valimar's doing. Once we're ready, let's head out.
Well, here we are. <sighs> Finally getting used to walking on this snow. The Divine Knight's exactly how you left him, too. Thankfully. It wouldn't have surprised me if Vita had tried messing with him, but he looks just fine. Speaking of, do you have any idea what she might be after? She knows Valimar is here, but as far as I can tell, she's not interested in stealing or destroying him. For now, anyway. It's kind of weird when you think about it. He's probably one of the biggest threats to the Noble Alliance. I've got no idea what goes on in that head of hers. But I'd say that there's a good chance her and the Noble Alliance's goals aren't as perfectly aligned as you might think. And if that's true, whatever she's doing is probably for the benefit of Ouroboros. Hmm. You said the Anguis are the top brass in the society, right Toval? If she's that high up, I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case. <sighs> well, whatever she wants. Can't see it being good news for us. They've been trouble all over the continent in the past. I dread to think what they've got in store here in Erebonia. But, well, at least we've got time to stop them. Things could have ended a lot worse yesterday if not for Valimar's help. I can't even imagine the ways Ymir would have suffered if we didn't stop that magic knight. I'll need to thank him when he wakes up. That will not be necessary. Whoa! Valimar? I suppose one night was enough for you to recover a little bit of your mana. Not enough to freely move around, though, I'm guessing. Correct. Further rest will be required in order to return to full capacity. Okay. Get as much rest as you need. We'll call on you if anything else happens, okay? Acknowledged. Wow. Easy enough to communicate with him, huh? Then again, I think that one Gordius class robot could technically talk too. Is something wrong? Oh, no, just thinking. I sense a change has occurred in your group since I last entered a state of inactivity. Confirming the absence of the waveform of one member. Assuming that some form of irregularity has occurred. Wait, is he talking about Elise? Maybe. He appears to be aware of what's going on around him to an extent. Valimar, we're going to be leaving this region for a while. My sister and the princess have been taken away, and we're going to rescue them. Plus, I need to find and reunite with my classmates, too. So take this chance to recover as long as you need, okay? Classmates, I assume that this word refers to those who have aided you in overcoming the trial to become an Awakener. Yeah, is that a big deal or something? Valimar? Confirming waveform locations. Excluding the Awakener of Azure, the remainder of here be located in three different regions. All vital signs are normal. Hold up a sec. Does that mean you know where all of them are? I see now. Do you remember when you overcame the trial to become Valimar's Awakener? Well, obviously, you weren't alone when you did that. You were with the rest of Class 7. And it sounds like, thanks to them being there with you, They've all been recognized as secondary contractors at the same time. Oh! So that's how... Please, Valimar, tell me where they all are! Detecting approximate locations using geographical database. Three are to the southeast in the Celtic region. Three are to the northeast in the Nord region. Three are to the south-southeast in the Lagrand region. This concludes a list of locations of all nine secondary contractors. All vital signs appear normal. Yep, that's all of them. That confirms my theory. They're all okay. They're really okay. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. Though I sure wasn't expecting us to get confirmation of their safety quite like this. <sighs> Look at you crying away. And you call yourself a man. Quiet, you. Oh, come on. You can't pretend you aren't breathing a sigh of relief right along with us. This means Emma's safe too, you know. Hmm. Oh, I for one am definitely breathing a sigh of relief. Still, all three locations are a ways away from Ymir. Yeah, 
I'm pretty sure the Noble Alliance has got control of key locations all over the country on top of it all. On the plus side, they're all on the eastern side of the Empire. But getting to them ain't exactly gonna be a walk in Modder Park. Oh hey, wait! Valimar, can't you use the spirit path? Affirmative. Doing so would consume all of my current mom power. Spirit path? What's that? It's the name given to a really old means of travel. Using it will allow us to travel instantly to even distant locations. Seriously? How? You know how there are still remnants of animism all across Erebonia, right? Well, places like that are connected to one another by spirit veins. Septium veins, in other words. And Valimar has the ability to use those veins to travel. Yeah, that's kind of going over my head. But basically, you're saying it's like an invisible road that connects places like Legram to here or wherever else? Exactly. The spirit path can only be used between areas where animism had a hold, though. The other drawback is that taking it will use up what little mana Valimar's been able to recover. Which means that until he's recovered enough to travel again, we won't be able to come back here. I see. Personally, I can't think of any better options. I think we should give it a try. What do you think? It sounds worth a shot to me. Now all that's left is to pick which place we should head to first. Right. Keldic, the Nord Highlands, or the Gram. I think Keldic is the closest to here. Maybe we should try heading there first? Keldic, huh? I'm down. Should make a good test run for this whole spirit path deal. All decided? Come with me then. Right. The monument would have ties to animism. Hmm, this seems like a good enough spot. Are you both ready? Ready. Anytime. Velimar, open the spirit path! Our destination is Keldic. I'll lend you all the support I can, too. Acknowledged. Spirit path. Oh, hey! The ground's glowing! What's this? Alright, here we go! Single one of them. I'll bring us all back together, no matter what it takes. <laughs> 